Major funding for this program was supplied by the National Science Foundation. If we stick to the interstate. Oh, that's good. Oh, we'll have an easy traveling day, and we'll get back in plenty of time to rest up for the concert tomorrow. Hey, Marty. Huh? There's a ton of ghost towns here in Montana. Couldn't we stop at one? You got one in mind? Well, Nevada City. How come there's so many ghost towns? Well, when gold was first discovered around here, thousands of people flocked in hopes of getting rich. Well, when the gold disappeared, many of them had to move on, and the towns they had built just died. G4 on the map. Here's G, and follow it over to 4. Right there. Not quite on the way. Marty, come on. It's hands-on history. Well... Please. Okay, guys, let's rock and roll. We're on our way to Nevada <laughs> City. <laughs> Ghostly haunts of the Old West. Are you ever going to put that book down? There's a story in here about a teacher. Ooh, sounds good already. Her name is Miss Sedman, and she used to teach in this old mining town, like forever. And the families there paid her in solid gold nuggets, and she never cashed them in. Well, one day, she walked off into the woods carrying a picnic lunch, and she never returned. The town went crazy trying to find her gold. Well, did they? No. Cool. I wouldn't mind getting paid in gold nuggets. And Trey teaching us for one room full of kids of all ages where you had to haul water and light the stove yourself? <laughs> I don't think so. See, the kids did that stuff. So you young upstarts, you don't know how good you have it? <laughs> hey, amigos, let's go check out the rest of the town, eh? Cool. 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 Cora Sedman. Cool. You don't think, do you? <laughs> Get real. I mean, the author probably just borrowed the name. Hey, all this talk about history's giving me a powerful thirst, Bill Grubb. <laughs> Are you okay? Yeah, me too. <laughs> you know, there's a soda machine back at the music hall. I think I'm gonna go get one. Hurry oh, I'll give you one, too, man. Whoa, 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 whoa. Only got two hands. Uh-huh, come on, let's go. Okay. Bye, guys. Oh, yeah, I want a root beer. All right. Okay, diet. Tourists. Got me. I mean, it must be a reenactment or. Look, there's got to be some reason. Of course. Yeah. I know, it's, it's just sun. And remember, there'll be none of that tomorrow. 
<laughs> See, I told you. There's Ellie. <laughs> In her best teacher's voice. <laughs> Ellie! How dare you speak to your elders that way? It's Miss Sedman. Yeah, whatever, Ellie. <laughs> my, 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 your deportment is dreadful. Perhaps cleaning up the schoolroom for a few hours will teach you how to behave properly. But, Ellie... <laughs> it's Miss Sedman. Will you young upstarts never learn? Well, what are you waiting for? Okay. If, if this is one of Ellie's jokes, this isn't funny. Treasure is what you seek. Be brave of heart, not meek. Just find your way and use the key. You'll find the riches they gave to me. Frankie, it's Cora Sedman's gold. This has got to be happening for some reason. Are you okay? With boots and gloves on your right, Take paces three times the schoolhouse's height. Boots and gloves. Could be those shops over there. Yeah, I'd buy that. So we'd face this way and walk. <sighs> but how tall is the schoolhouse? Well, um, let's see. I'm about five foot six, and my shadow looks to be about three feet long, about half my height. Oh, I get it. So the school's shadow is about two, four, six, and a little more. About seven feet. Double that. About 14 feet tall. Uh, don't we have to be more exact? I don't think so. So that's 14 times 3. 14 is close to 15. Mm -hmm. 15 times 3 is 45. Subtract 3, it's 42. 42 paces. OK. 1, 2, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 40. OK, 42. Next clue says. This is weird. What is it? Just read it, okay? Go north up to the hills. Uh -huh. The task will test your skills. And then there's a bunch of numbers. Mm, let me see. Okay, 5, 8, 13, 21, and 34. It's got to be some kind of pattern. If we can figure out the next number in the series, it'll probably tell us how far to go. Hmm. Well, they're not all single-digit numbers. Mm -hmm. And they're not all odd numbers. There's that eight in there. And each number is larger than the one before it. So the next number's got to be larger than 34. How far apart are they from each other? What? Like, five plus what gives you eight? Three. Okay. I got it. Five plus eight equals 13. Eight plus 13 equals 21. You add these two numbers to get this number, and these two to get this one, and so on. Oh. So the next number in the series would be 21 plus 34. Mm-hmm. 55. Yep. Go north up to the hills. It's, it's got to be that way. Yep. So we would walk 55 paces. Fine with me. OK. I feel like someone's watching us. Yeah. Okay. Come on. One. One two. 49. 50. 51. 
55. <sighs> okay. And this must be it. Let's see. A rock shaped like a tear. The end is very near. The map you'll make won't disappoint. Your pace is now just to the point. And then there's these numbers. Let me see. Negative four, positive two. D did you? What? I, 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 I found someone. <laughs> Look, I've had enough of this stuff. Forget the gold, man. We should be searching for a way back home instead. No, 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 Johnny. This is what we should be doing, okay? I can feel it. Look, we find the gold, we find the way back. We can solve this. Maybe. Okay. Negative four, positive two. Suppose, suppose these numbers are the point. Like the coordinates Marty used to find Nevada City. Some letter and a number, you follow them to where they connect, only we don't have a map. Not yet, but the clue says to make one. I know. These numbers are coordinates. Not for any old map, they're part of a grid like this. See? It has an X and a Y axis. Okay, so how does it work? Well, the lines cross each other here, and this point is zero, zero. Then the numbers go left or right or up and down from that point. Okay, so this would be positive one, positive two, positive three, and so on here. Yeah, negative one and negative two and so on. And same thing for this axis. Okay, they're positive on this side and negative over here. Okay, so our point would be... Right here on this part. Yep, negative four, positive two, right there. Okay, so um, let's assume that this is north. Okay. And the sun was coming out of the east over here. So that's north. Makes sense to me. Yep. And we'd walk west four paces and north two, as if the grid that we drew was on uh, the ground. And I guess we should assume that the rock is zero, zero, since it was the only thing mentioned in the clue. Let's do it. You ready? Yeah. One. One. Two, two three, three, four, four one, one, two. Now, all we need is something to dig with. I saw a store back in town. They should have some shovels. Terrific. Let's go. <laughs> the note said. Hey, you guys. Ellie's been looking all over for you. We'll be right there. The, 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 the clues, I, I the letters. Hey, you guys, come on. I'm thirsty. It, it, it's too late now. It's it's just too late. I guess it was just some kind of... Something. Chance, I'm gonna try. 